Hi guys, Miss Francis here to talk to you about the cell cycle. By the end of this video, you should understand these four vocabulary words. If you don't, please come see me or Mrs. Cunningham. What is cytokinesis? Well, cytokinesis is just the division of the cytoplasm where mitosis takes one cell and produces two cells that are the genetic equivalent of the parent and to each other. So mitosis is division of the cytoplasm where what I'm forming is a clone. As far as um, chromosome numbers, um, we went through the fact that each human inherits 23 chromosomes from an egg and 23 chromosomes from a sperm. But in order to produce a fully developed multicellular human, mitosis plays a vital role because what mitosis does is replace dead and damaged cells. So essentially what mitosis is doing is producing clones or exact copies of these dead and damaged cells. So if we looked at the life of a cell and we put it on a 24 hour clock, most of the cell's time is spent in preparation for mitosis and cytokinesis. So there are two main phases, the M phase and interphase, where M phase includes mitosis and cytokinesis, an interphase is going to include three different phases. So interphase accounts for about 90% of the day, or if we were to put it on a clock, that 23 hours out of a 24 hour day. Whereas the M phase, mitosis and cytokinesis, would only take about one hour. So during interphase, the cell is conducting all of the life activities and then getting ready for the next round of mitosis to occur. I recommend that you guys revisit this um, video. You can just Google McGraw-Hill animations, how the cell works. Um, and as a matter of fact, you can just Google any of the animations or videos that are present in any of our PowerPoint presentations. But what I'd like to do is annotate this image as I did with you guys in class. So let's talk about cytokinesis first. Cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm, whereas mitosis is the division of the nucleus. Now, both of these together are called the mitotic phase or the M phase. And this whole M phase in the life cycle of a cell is approximately one hour if we put the cell on a 24 hour time clock. All right, during gap one, your cell is growing. Um, this section of the interphase cycle involves our chromatin. So in gap one, our DNA is packaged as chromatin. In our synthesis phase, in S phase, DNA is being replicated. So this is the replication of DNA. And what ends up happening is our chromatin gets replicated and now what I've got are two sister chromatids which is also referred to as one chromosome. Now during the gap two or the G2 phase our cell is doing the final growth and final preparations in order to start mitosis, part of the M phase. And in this G2 or gap two phase, our DNA is still packaged as a chromosome or two sister chromatids. So here are the three subphases. Gap phase or G1 phase is centered around growth during the S phase phase, 
you've got replication going on where your DNA is being um, copied to give you exact matches. In the gap two phase or the second gap, that's when the cell completes preparations for cell division. Then the cell divides um, and then there is division of the nucleus. Um, if we were to look at the amount of DNA that's present during the cell cycle, this represents our first cycle. So stage one would be gap one, stage two would be synthesis, stage two, sorry, stage three would be gap two, and then stage four here is mitosis and cytokinesis, which is also referred to together as the M phase. So if we look at the amount of DNA in um, gap one, the amount of DNA is just in its chromatin form. But as I enter my second phase of interphase, as I enter synthesis, the amount of DNA essentially doubles because what I'm doing is I'm replicating or duplicating that chromatin that I had present in gap one. And now I refer to it as either one chromosome or two sister chromatids. In phase three, or gap two, my cell is still growing, but the amount of DNA hasn't changed. I still have that replicated DNA present. Now in stage four, in mitosis and cytokinesis, the amount of DNA in my cell returns to the amount of DNA that I started out with in my parent cell, and now I end up with two daughter cells that have equal amounts of DNA and equal amounts of DNA as the parent, and in fact that DNA is an exact copy.